Hello and welcome to another Excel video on my latest program which is called ProCut Plus 2021. It's a program that's been designed to create an, an uh, optimised cutting lift. By that I mean, um, for example, if you have some aluminium profiles or wooden mouldings, wooden profile and you have a whole bunch of sizes and quantities of sizes to cut uh, this program will calculate uh, the best way to cut the pieces from each bar of stock so the way it works is you enter the uh, information uh, so the sizes i'll just enlarge this a bit so we can have a better look um, so up here size sizes job uh, here you enter the sizes of the moldings you want to cut for example i have a molding size of 1200 oh, well i need some pieces at 1200 and i need four of them um say i need another bunch of pieces that uh, 600 long I need two of those I need uh, some pieces that are uh, 3200 millimeters and I need four of those and I need six pieces at say 1800 and I need well let's just say I need another uh, 900 millimeters four of those and I'll finish off with uh, a small size let's say uh, 250 millimeters uh, four of those and I'll just stick another large size just so we can see how the program resorts uh, the order uh, 2800 two of those all right so uh, what we do before we do any calculations, we in this box here, we enter the bar length, so the stocks uh, of bars that we have. Let's say um, there's six and a half meters long. We put six and a half meters there. Now the blade will have a thickness. Obviously, when it makes a cut, you're going to lose that thickness of the blade in the length of the molding. Um, to cut one piece of molding it needs to be cut on both sides so obviously you're going to be losing the thickness of the blade from each side so let's say the blade is three millimeters thick times two makes six millimeters so we enter six in this box and this box uh, here is for the loss at the beginning of the bar normally the beginning of the bar of the with all the profile um, is a little bit damaged because um, it gets knocked around so let's just say we put 10 millimeters here uh, as a bar loss at the start you can also include any bar loss at the end uh, just combine them and put them in this box now obviously before we can run this program because it's a program that's uh, using VBA Program, programming language we need to activate the um, the VBA code by pressing this option box up the top and we just click enable content and OK now when, when we do that it, it tell it just the message pops up thanks for activating uh, VBA macro you just press OK now obviously if you want to um, get rid of all that, that uh, information at the top which we don't really need just press the full screen button and then we have a cleaner view so by going into full screen mode you can see we've got a cleaner view of the program without the clutter of the excel options at the top now before we press start um, I'll just explain when you do press start there'll be the option to either uh, enter one which means you want to resort this list 
and when it does resort it, the new list will be placed into these two rows here. Uh, if you press option 2 by entering 2, it won't resort the list, it'll just copy this list and put, place it in these two rows here because the program actually calculates the optimized list from the values entered uh, or the values that will be printed in these two rows by the program. So let's press start and see uh, this in action. So the, the option comes up, it, the option one is already selected, I want to resort it, I'll press OK. Now when I press OK, you'll, if you look at these two rows here, you'll see that they'll be resorted in descending order from the largest to the smallest, which ideally is how you would go about cutting a cutting list. You would start with the, the bigger pieces and as your bar gets smaller, you try and cut more of the smaller pieces in the remaining bar until you basically got no more bar left, which is what the program here attempts to do. So I'll just press OK and you'll see the list have been resorted from high to low. Uh, the remaining pieces is we can see here as it's cutting and calculating the remaining pieces are here. These are the total amount of pieces, 26 that will be cutting. And it's almost finished there. And once it's finished, message comes up finished, we just press OK. Uh, and OK again. And there we have it. So that's got the calculation finished. And we can see that in the residual box, it says five, almost five and a half meters. That's the total amount of offcuts from uh, what we've cut here. If we want to visualize this, um, visualize the, the offcuts from this cutting lift, we can do that by uh, pressing the graph button. What I'll do first, and I'll just get out of this full screen mode. Um, so by by pressing the full screen button again, we end up back here. And I'll just zoom out a bit. Oh, that's a bit too much. Um, all right, so we're back here. Obviously, we can't see the numbers as well. Um, so we, we can visualize the offcuts by pressing graph. A message will come up, uh, chart one created. We press OK, there it is. To enlarge the graph so we can see it better, press the plus button here. It'll enlarge it. Now what I normally do is I press the copy chart button. It copies the chart. Then you reselect the original one. Press the minus button. It'll put it back where it was originally. And here you can visualize the offcut. You can see that the offcuts are all basically nothing left from the um, from the bar. I mean, you can see the the values here. We've got 78 millimeters left over in the first two bars, 16 millimeters in the third bar, and these are all under 200 millimeters. So there's basically very little very little wastage left. This one obviously has a high amount because uh, we ran out of pieces to cut. We only had a few little pieces to cut. We've got a lot of bar left. So that's normal for the last bar. Um, and basically once we visualize that and we're happy with that, we can get rid of this chart by pressing delete image. That gets rid of that chart there. So if you delete this chart here by pressing delete chart, what it will do, well, what the program will do is it will delete all the information generated from the uh, values that were input. So that means it will get rid of all these values, these values, these two rows, plus what you've put here, and basically give us a clean slate to start a new cutting list. Um, of 
course, the other beauty with this program is if we press print, it'll generate a printing list. Now this printing list, all we need to do is press the uh, print button, obviously. It'll print this out and we've got a handy printout to work from when we go about doing our cutting list. Obviously, I'm not going to print this. I'll close that. Um, so that's another handy option with the program. Now, I'll just uh, delete this chart so we can see what ha will actually happen. Uh, delete. A message will come up. Are you sure you want to delete the chart? It says here, deleting chart will close and reopen the program. Uh, we press yes. It'll say all charts removed. We press OK. Now because it's reopened, um, it's telling us we need to enable macros for the program to work. So we press enable macros. Message comes up, I'm back. We press OK. And there we, we can see we've got a clean slate. All the numbers have been deleted everywhere, except for the bar length and the uh, the loss from the, the thickness of the blade. They're left there just to remind you that you need to either adjust those values if you need to, or leave them as it is uh, if you're cutting the same material with the same blade thickness. So there we have it, That's I think I've done a pretty well complete uh, overview of the program. Um, so if you have any questions or you're interested in this program, don't hesitate to send me an email or, or ask any questions. So that's it for this video, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video, bye for now.